When running a post-attack reconnaissance route, or PAR route, and they come across a UXO, we look to see if the five C's were followed. Confirm, clear, cordon, check, and control. First, when the UXO is confirmed, clear the area until at least 25 feet away. Call into the UCC and get EOD notified. Following identification of the UXO, port on off the area, ensuring there are no other UXOs present. Once the five C's are executed, the PAR team is responsible for completing the route. Around 20 airmen from the 200th Red Horse Squadron and 10 soldiers of the Ohio National Guard's 16th Engineer Brigade help support the Ohio Department of Rehabilitation and Corrections. Over several days in April, the joint team of soldiers and airmen deployed the Derbis, or Disaster Relief Bed Down Sets, at the Pickaway Correctional Institution in Orient, Ohio. Derbis kits are used to provide additional sanitized living quarters, latrines, and shower facilities to inmates at the prison during the COVID-19 pandemic. In addition, the Ohio National Guard has been assisting the ODRC with medical and operational support at several facilities throughout the state. On May 15th, the 179th took part in a series of flyovers designed to show support to frontline healthcare workers. The Salute Ohio flyovers flew over several cities, including Mansfield, Marion, Cleveland, Akron, Zanesville, Lancaster, Mount Vernon, Newark, and many others. Air National Guard units across the country held flyovers in the wake of the COVID-19 crisis as a way to show support to everyone working in healthcare. Christina Lee, the daughter of 179th Medical Group Commander Colonel Andrew Lee, recently won the 2020 Military Child of the Year Award for the National Guard. Operation Homefront, an organization that serves American military families, announced the seven winners of the award in April. Selections for the awards are based on scholarship, volunteerism, leadership, extracurricular involvement, and many other criteria that affect children living in military families. Normally, the winners are sent to Washington, D.C. for a ceremony where the awards are formally given out. This year, however, the ceremony was canceled due to COVID-19 concerns and for now, the achievement must be celebrated at home. Airmen of the 179th conducted combat survival training recently, designed to teach and prepare them for any type of situation. The air crews practiced a cradle-to-grave approach in evasion, concealment, land navigation, evasive movement techniques, sustenance and water procurement, shelter building, formation evasion maneuvers, firecrafting, and a host of other skills. This year, the training class size had to be reduced due to COVID-19 concerns, and the training was more individually focused to adhere to social distancing guidelines. Modified training during these challenging times allow guardsmen to become more adept at changing situations and makes the entire Air National Guard more resilient in the end. Brigadier General James R. Camp, Ohio's Assistant Adjutant General for Air, visited the 179th Airlift Wing in May to thank everyone who continues to work through the COVID-19 pandemic. General Camp toured the base with leadership and met with airmen who continue to work through the crisis and showed his appreciation to everyone involved. On Memorial Day, airmen from the 179th Base Honor Guard took part in an annual observance for veterans. Along with hundreds of musicians and former and current military members across the nation, they played TAPS as part of the TAPS for Veterans program to honor those who have fallen in service of the United States. TAPS for Veterans provides an opportunity for buglers or trumpet players to sound TAPS for military veterans' funerals and ceremonies. A nationwide playing of TAPS is held each Memorial Day. The TAPS for Veterans organization helps fill the gap and helps the military provide live TAPS playings at funerals and ceremonies throughout the country. Soldiers and airmen of the Ohio National Guard were activated to help support the city of Cleveland during the recent civil unrest the city has been experiencing. Airmen of the 179th Security Forces Squadron deployed to Cleveland to help work alongside the police and Ohio Army National Guard soldiers. City officials, including Cleveland's mayor, Frank Jackson, said the city was very thankful to have the Guard's support. Well, you know, for, for police officers, it's always nice to have backup. Uh, you know, somebody got your back. 
and uh, they're paramilitary, and, and they, they understand the need to have support. And it gives them the ability to do their job knowing that uh, there's support, there's backup for them. 179th C-130s helped bring home soldiers of the Ohio Army National Guard after a recent mission to Washington. The Sandusky, Ohio-based 1st Battalion, 148th Infantry Regiment deployed around 100 soldiers recently as part of a security detail operation in support of the National Guard response to civil unrest. After completing their mission, the soldiers of the 148th were flown back home from Andrews Air Force Base and landed in Port Clinton with the help of the 179th. And a congratulations to Chief Master Sergeant Eric Stevens for obtaining the highest rank of the enlisted force structure.